Hi, my name's Amanda Hartman and I'm a speech pathologist here on the team at Assistiveware and today we're looking at Proliquo for Text. This video will step you through some of the important things to consider when you are using Proliquo for Text with multiple languages. Let's look at the app now. The simplest approach to using multiple languages in Proliquo for Text is using the automatic or default settings. If you speak multiple languages and use multiple iOS keyboards, Proliquo for Text will automatically change the language of the word prediction, the phrases and other content when you switch between iOS keyboards. So I'm currently in English and the easiest way to change language keyboards is to press and hold down the globe key on the iOS keyboard at the bottom left and then select your language. I'm going to choose Spanish. You can see that automatically I now have Spanish throughout my app. Gracias. I can go into phrases. Me gustaría algo de comer. And now I can speak in Spanish. Even when I type, you can see that the word prediction is in Spanish. Let me take you back to English now, again by holding down the globe button on my keyboard and then selecting English. What about, let's add a new language. I can easily add a new language to Proliquo for text at any time. And this is especially easy if you are using the automatic language settings, which at the moment we still are. When I started using Proliquo for text, two languages were added to my user profile in the startup wizard, English and Spanish. And Proliquo for text chose those languages based on the keyboards that I had installed in my iOS settings. So, if I want to add another language later, I can do this simply by adding another language keyboard. To do this, I go into my iOS settings and into the general tab until I find the keyboard settings. And I open this and at the top here, I can look and see the keyboards I already have loaded. You can see I currently have English and Spanish loaded. And now tap on add a new keyboard. You can see I have some suggested keyboard, third party keyboards. And then here at the bottom, I have keyboards for lots of different languages. Um, today, I'm gonna actually choose French at the top. So I click on that and you can see French, the French keyboard has been added. I now double tap to go back into Proliquo for text. Now remembering that I press and hold my glow button on the iOS keyboard, I now also have the option of French. So let's change to that. And again, you can see that my interface in Proliquo for text has also changed to French. Merci. Currently, Proliquo for text is using a lower quality voice included in the app so that I can start communicating in French immediately. However, I need to go into my options and language and speech settings so that I can check the voices and possibly download a higher quality French voice that I would most like to use. Here in options, there is a download progress section. And by clicking on that, we can see that Proliquo for Text has already started downloading a French voice for me. I can wait for this or I can go back up and open up my French language here and then tap on voices so I can see and see all the other French voices that are available for me. I tap on the speaker so I can hear the voice. Bonjour. I can see the voice that has already started downloading. And if I push the cross button, I can cancel, pause or continue the download of this voice. I'm going to cancel the download because I would prefer a different French voice. Now I tap on the, the voice that I want to download and then click download again to confirm. Now this voice is downloading. It will not take too long. Great, now my chosen voice has been downloaded. I still need to tap on the voice here just to be sure that my downloaded voice here, which has now been installed, has been selected. I tap it so that we have a tick beside it to do this. Now, if I go out of options and tap a phrase, J'aimerais quelque chose à manger. 
I can now speak French in that high quality French voice. Let's clear that and go back to English now by holding down the globe button on the iOS keyboard and selecting English. We can also set up languages in Proloquo for text manually. So let's go back into options and we'll back out of our new language so that we can look at our language and speech settings. If we look at manage languages, we can see, as I said, that the default is set to automatic as I demonstrated. And that's because the language we have in Proloquo for text is linked to the iOS keyboard you are currently using. However, you can set this to manual, and this would be if you would prefer to use one keyboard for all languages and wanted to be able to select the different languages you needed to use in Proloquo for text. So here in Manage Languages, let's slide the toggle to switch our language settings to manual. When I do that, you can see a couple of things happened. Firstly, here in this options menu, you can see that my two active languages are seen, English and Spanish. These were the two that were added in the startup wizard. You can also see my inactive languages. These are languages that I can access once I have downloaded a voice for them. Proloquo for Text supports many languages. Secondly, the other change to the interface of Proloquo for Text when I went into manual mode was the appearance of the globe icon on the top toolbar. When I press the globe button, Proloquo for Text changes to the different languages I have active, English and Spanish. Let's go back into options where we are still in the settings for managing languages, but we're doing it manually now. For each of my active languages, English and Spanish, I can make edits here to them. When I go into either of these languages, I could make them inactive by turning this toggle off here, and that would turn the language off. But I can also make changes here to the voice, the speech rate, voice personalization. And this is also where I would go to make customizations to the pronunciation of the words so that Proloquo for Text says words correctly. Let's back out of this active language now. All right, let's add another new language, this time manually. We're becoming very multilingual. So if I select a language, say for example, German, if I first try to make this language active by sliding this toggle on here, I get this message. It basically reminds me that first I need to select and download a voice for this language. I say, OK, and now I tap on my voices to see the languages that I have available. I can listen by pressing the speaker. Hello. My Hello. My and then by pressing on the voice, I can download that voice pushing download to confirm. Now the voice is downloading. It will not take very long. Great, now my chosen German voice has downloaded. So I click OK and I click on the voice here and just to make sure that um, my installed voice has been selected. So I go back and Great, so now my German is active and ready to go, but while I'm here, I might also go into um, my French and make that active. Remember, I added French, the French keyboard, and downloaded a voice. So by finding the language here and sliding the toggle to on, French will now become one of my active languages when we're running languages manually. So now I tap out of options and get my keyboard up. And now if I tap on the globe icon on my top toolbar this time, I switch through my different languages, through Spanish, French, German, and back to English. And when I'm using these manual settings, you can see I can change this language while keeping the same iOS keyboard throughout. Back to English. And let's just quickly just change back to automatic settings for our languages. And uh, we're good to go. Please note that Proloquo for Text does not translate languages. You are not able to type in English and have it spoken in French. You need to be able to type in French to speak French. So, now that we can, let's talk in multiple languages.
This next feature will work whether I'm using automatic or manual language settings. So let's go and choose a phrase in Spanish. So open my Spanish up. Say something about food. Me gustaría algo de comer. And now I will go back to English by holding down the globe and back to English. And... What about you? So now I have two sentences in two different languages. Listen what happens when I press play on the text pad to hear all of the messages spoken back. Me gustaría algo de comer. What about you? See how the app automatically switches languages and reads each phrase with the voice selected for that language. So cool. Please note, though, you can turn off this feature if you wish. So I go back into options and I'm in my language and speech settings and then I would slide the toggle off for auto detect language if I didn't want to use that feature. If you need help, you can find it within the app. Back into options and while I'm in these language and speech settings, I can scroll to the bottom and tap this blue link, which takes me directly to that section of the manual. So I can check up on my answers here. And then I click done when I'm finished. This video has focused on multilingual supports in Proloquo for text. If you need any further information, please check our website for more resources and videos. Thank you.